Everyone knows the Red Bull logo, right? Two lone cows standing on their four legs, fighting hard. So the designer of this trademark, I would never expect, this logo actually successfully predicted. The former comrades in arms are now confronting each other. Soldiers meet each other. Red Bull is well known to all Chinese people, but its birthplace is actually Thailand. Red Bull's Thai biological father, the Tensile Group, was founded by Chinese entrepreneur Xu Shubiao. Take a night in the 70s. Xu Shubiao found that the workers on the night shift were breathing heavily, lazy. He frowned and thought, if there is such a drink that boosts hard work, after drinking, it would be great if it could make people feel more energetic. So he instructed the group's R&D personnel to develop this drink as soon as possible. The product will be available soon. What happens after the night shift workers drink it? Really, very energetic. Work efficiency has also been significantly improved. Xu Xu Biao realized, thousands of people on night shift, there is definitely a market for this boost drink. So he immediately ordered the factory to mass produce. When Yan Bin first arrived in Thailand, a poor boy, penniless, once made a living by selling blood. He started as an apprentice and worked in the foreign trade and tourism industry for many years. Gritted his teeth and saved 200,000, bought an apartment in the office. Then at this time, Thailand's real estate boom. House prices increased by half in half a year. Yan Bin made a prompt decision, clapped his hands and made up his mind that this house is not as real as money. In 1984, he sold the apartment, startup capital in hand. Huabin Group was established, entering the real estate industry. Then took advantage of the market trend, business was booming. Five years later, Yan Bin, the poor boy, turned out to be a Bangkok hooligan circle, hot entrepreneur. In 1995, Yan Bin and Xu Shubiao met. Then the situation was similar. They were like-minded. In a short time, the two became close friends. Once, when Yan Ming returned to China to visit his family, he suddenly discovered the domestic beverage supply market was completely blank. If I could give Xu Xu to Red Bull and move it to China, it would surely bring about a violent storm. So what happened after returning to Thailand? He told Xu Xu Biao about this idea. Xu Xu Biao also nodded repeatedly to show his agreement. China's population is much larger than Thailand's. It must have a huge market. The two of them hit it off immediately. A cooperation agreement was signed immediately. One was responsible for technical support and brand authorization, and the other was a responsible sales agent. Red Bull's plan to approach China officially began. This was not only the beginning of the Red Bull market myth, but it was also a foreshadowing of the future war between the two sides. Yan Bin drives the Red Bull with overwhelming force, rising rapidly in the Chinese market. Drink Red Bull when you are thirsty or tired. Your power is beyond your imagination, etc. Red Bull firmly occupies the domestic beverage sales list. What about the first peak period? Annual revenue exceeds 23 billion. Seemingly glorious times, but actual heavy rains are coming in 2012. Xu Xu Biao passed away. His son Xu Xinxiong inherited the family business. What about the next few years? The Xu Ji family started to focus on the Chinese market. They suddenly discovered that Red Bull achieved success in China's huge market. It has already surpassed the entire Southeast Asian group. The energy of this batch of Red Bull was far beyond his imagination. The former partners gradually became less close, towards gaming. In 2016, the Xu family's Tianxi group announced that China Red Bull, led by Yan Bin, was infringing on trademark rights. Litigation in Chinese courts began. A biological father in a custody battle with an adoptive father officially opened. No one expected this battle to turn into a protracted war. One dozen is more than three years and it hasn't turned off yet. As of December 2019, the two sides have fought more than 20 lawsuits. Currently, China Red Bull is at a disadvantage. The heart of the dispute, the first is the authorization period. The Thai woman claims Red Bull China's operating period is 20 years, and it's expired now. We are not preparing for contract renewal. Give me back my own son. So what about the Chinese adoptive father's response for 20 years? It's just the registration period for work-related injuries. In fact, the operating period is 50 years. The agreement is still valid. Yang Zi is still mine. Then the second is the market contribution. Red Bull China claims all Red Bull branding in China, especially with only one contributor. It was Red Bull of China. Red Bull wars for years. What about behind this one? Actually, it's an unusually large market in China. Rarely in the world have the best of both worlds. It's a lose-lose situation. Long-term injustice inevitably damages the image. 
Due to long-term involvement in lawsuits inside Red Bull, it's shaking, and outside brands are catching up. Dongpeng's special drink, the rapid rise of energy drinks such as Lehu Stand Up. What about running speed? It is also far more than the invincible Red Bull of the past. In the sports drink market in recent years, what about Red Bull share? From 65% to 58%. The war that began in 2016 like a half cow let these strong Red Bull fell hard. Then someone said, the current situation of Red Bull, it's a complete reenactment of Wang Laoji and Jia Duobao's script. The grudges between brands and agents, it's always a mess. So, will you support Meng Yu landing or Red Bull going home? I am solemn.